Hi, folks, it's Voss here from the ChrisVossShow.com. The Chris Voss Show. Coming at you here on the uh, Chris Voss Show YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe, give us a like, hit that bell notification button so you get all the notifications of all the different shows we do. Be sure you go to the CVPN, the Chris Voss Podcast Network.com. You can go there and subscribe to seven of our different podcasts that we have out there in a lot of different fields. And of course, we've got a really cool, exciting interview today. Today, I have the CSO of Angie, a company you can go to their website at meetangie.com. And uh, it's Peter Stransky. And Peter has over 20 plus years experience in strategic management and executive leadership roles where he worked across a number of industries, executive manager and advisor of the international companies in the segments of enterprise software, digital media, electronic payment solutions, consumer technology, driving their growth, restructuring, and strategic exits. He's done a lot of wonderful things with companies, so we're going to learn a lot of cool things about Angie, the company, and also about him and his experience in business. Welcome to the show, Peter. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, uh, and I'm very happy to be on your show, Chris. Awesome, awesome. So we've been checking out uh, your guys' product, Angie. Uh, you can go to meetangie.com to check this thing out. It's a very impressive security cam. Uh, tell us a little bit more about yourself, Peter, and then let's get into the product itself. Okay, well, well about me, you already mentioned pretty, uh, I would say, boring. Can you cover everything myself? about you, Peter? Yeah, so uh, I would say I had a lot of fun uh, working across a couple of uh, tech industries. Uh, in the past, more uh, with the segment of medium-sized companies and a couple of corporate projects. And a couple of years ago, actually, I started working with the founders of, uh, of NG, uh, Thomas and Lucas, uh, and initially uh, a bit advising them, helping them to raise some money, which we mm -hmm. succeeded. And I was kind of uh, sucked in uh, and started actually uh, working internally, helping especially on a business side. And uh, uh, here I am. I mean, after three years of uh, working with the team and very exciting journey. And uh, I believe uh, we've been able to pull out something interesting. But more importantly, we just started. I mean, yeah. what, what you can see right now is just a start of uh, incredible things which we will bring to the market. Well, it's a, it's a great story that you have there. Uh, it, it's also kind of incredible. I mean, you guys just started. This thing's got some pretty good technology from what I've seen inside of it. So tell us about Angie. So I will start with a, a bit of a boring description, so a bit of technical, and then uh, I'll do a bit, of, a bit of marketing description. So technically, it's actually three things in one. And the most important part is invisible because it's in cloud. Because everything what happens on NG is managed by cloud, where we're using the actual device as a source of the information, what's going on and source of metadata in order to be able to establish whether there is something uh, potentially hazardous in the household, whether it's something you as a user should know about, uh, whether it's something uh, what actually potentially we should record and so on and so forth. Uh, it's a real-time uh, cloud system, which means that and that's unlike a number of other uh, systems, the embedded part of NG, which sits within the device, is actually uh, constantly connected to the cloud. And that allows uh, us to do a couple of tricks. And another part is actually mobile phone. So we're utilizing your mobile phone, be it iOS or Android, for being able to recognize that you came at home, uh, being able to offer you it as interface in between you and NG. And we leveraging the latest technology which is available uh, on those phones. So uh, we, as an NG, is essentially omnipresent through the device, which you can physically see uh, uh, at your home, the cloud part, uh, where actually a lot of stuff is being processed, and then the mobile phone, which is being used as an interface, but also as a way to recognize you and anyone who belongs to your, uh, uh, belong to your household came or left and therefore uh, allowing us to do a magic because one of the specific of NG is it's fully automated. Essentially, after you set it up, uh, and I would bet under five minutes, you don't have to do anything because NG does it. Uh, until you decide that you want to know what's going on or you want to interact with the people at home and you can do a lot of additional stuff. And let me conclude with one thing. All this allows us one incredible thing and that's constant innovation because we, we are adding new functionalities 
even after you have uh, NG at your home. Uh, and recently, we actually introduced some improvements of the way how you can work with the alarms. We announced a couple of integrations with uh, Google Assistant, uh, with uh, Alexa, with Philips Hue, and we're working on additional ones. So Angie's security camera at uh, meetangie.com. You can take a check it out. It's a security camera. It's got full HD at 1080p with an active resolution of uh, 920 by 1080. Uh, field of view is 360 motion traction tracking camera with wide angle lens. I think that was the thing that kind of jumped out at me about you guys' camera, the motion tracking. Uh, I think that's pretty interesting. Yeah, so it's a it's a part which was a bit tricky on the engineering side because essentially what you have is around NG, uh, you have six uh, PIR sensors, which allows us at any moment uh, to understand what's happening around NG, regardless how you place it. Uh, and as well as, as you mentioned, 360 degree uh, actual field of view and the way how we achieve it because uh, NG can rotate around. So we essentially are using the uh, PIR sensors to understand when there is a motion, and then we actually uh, take the camera to that position, and we can analyze part of the video. Uh, we actually are just preparing some uh, computer vision uh, mechanisms in order to allow you to have further understanding what's happening in that uh, field of view where the motion was. Last thing which actually uh, we can do with that Essentially, NG learns where there is a wall. Now, technically, what it learns is where there is no motion for a long time. So it says essentially is analyzing its surroundings, and uh, then it comes to a conclusion, which is adjusted uh, actually on an ongoing basis, where actually there is no motion. And uh, that actually allows NG to think, well, that's a wall. That's where no one uh, usually is. And we use it for one uh, feature, which actually right now we are the only one having that, which for privacy function. So when you come at home, what NG does, it turns to the wall. So the camera doesn't look at you. And we're finding this very important for a number of people because they don't trust uh, companies uh, that they will protect uh, you know, the access to the camera. Uh, and I think that's uh, actually good sensitive approach. So what we do, we make sure camera is actually not looking at you. Mm. So the camera doesn't look at you when it's kind of in arrest mode or it knows you're in the home from the sensors and stuff? Correct. When we know that you're at home, uh, we call that uh, mode privacy mode mm -hmm. because it does one more thing. It doesn't allow anyone to connect to NG as well without your permission. So that, that means... That, that's really cool. I, I really like that feature, especially nowadays where you're like, who's watching me through my webcam? Um, you know, I mean, there's all sorts of hacking that's gone on. The FBI for a while I was watching people through their webcams. Uh, you know, I, I like that feature where it, it's not looking at you. I guess it just turns into the wall, huh? Correct. It does. And moreover, uh, we actually, any videos which goes to the cloud uh, or any videos which uh, you watch uh, through a function which we call Live View are encrypted. So no one else can actually access them. No one else can uh, see them. It's We're using asymmetric en encryption for that. Uh, we're not watching anyone's video. I don't want to mention a company which does that. Uh, we believe the privacy is extremely important. It's essentially, uh, interestingly enough, uh, I believe privacy is a neighbor of uh, these solutions to come at home uh, because uh, we invading your privacy. So we want to make sure it's done in a way where you are still in control. Yeah, it just came out that a certain company has employees that actually do listen to your, to your, uh, to your uh, uh, chatter. I no, I've seen that company uh, uh, from from time to time. It will light up, or uh, I think yellow or an orange, a yellowish mm -hmm. color, and it it claims that when it's doing that, it's just listening to make itself better. And you're just <laughs> kind of like, uh, yeah, whatever, man. Uh, so it's cool that you guys have these sort of privacy things. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing that's interesting about this is uh, it comes with a security tag as well. Tell us how those work. Correct. So. Uh, security tech, which is essentially a sensor, uh, which does a couple of things for us. Uh, but the core is that it recognizes the motion of the doors. So uh, you place the security tech at your entry exit points. And it, it allows NG to understand uh, when those were open or closed. 
and make better sense of presence of the people of happening at uh, those entry points, even if there is no uh, direct line of view. Uh, so essentially, it, it increases the intelligence uh, of, uh, of the entire system because of that. And it's easy to, uh, to place them. Uh, there is no uh, uh, complicated uh, manipulation of a security tech. And you can have multiple security techs uh, at your home. So if you have two exits, uh, then you place it on both. If you have three, the same. There are, of course, some limitation of the distance you can uh, put it at. So this thing will do several things. It'll give you a home feed through the app. It'll give you real-time alerts through the app, so it lets you know when unexpected visitors are in the house. Uh, alarm events, uh, so alarm videos are captured and uploaded securely to the cloud. I do love the cloud feature. I never have figured out, you know, we get tons of cameras to be on the Chris Voss show. And I'll get these cameras where it's like, oh, there's a micro SD card here in the camera that saves, you know, your alarm videos. And you're like, well, all the thief has to do is steal the camera and they have the video. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. So I love the cloud feature where it goes to the cloud so that even if they steal the if they even if they steal the security cam. Uh, you know, I'm going to have their. I'm going to have pictures of them in the cloud that I can turn into the police. That's that's true. Now, actually, uh, the NG is designed uh, even with more um, backup than that. So there is a local memory. So mm -hmm. in case uh, that there is no Wi-Fi available, which oh, uh, might happen, uh, we record. Might turn off your. Uh, I don't know. Shut down your Wi-Fi. Maybe Shut your up, Wi uh, exactly. Or it just, you know, there is a, some outage. The same is actually mm -hmm. with power outage. So one thing which uh, actually NG does have is backup battery, which can last up to eight hours. Oh, really? Uh, so if they shut down the power to my house to shut off all my cameras and Wi-Fi, I'm going to be covered. Still works. NG that works. Awesome. I always worry about that because I, I get paranoid. I put, a, uh, I put a padlock on my power box because it's outside here in Las Vegas. Because uh, I'm always worried, like, all they got to do is shut off my power, and then that kills my Wi-Fi, it kills the, it kills the, uh, you know, the, all the cameras and stuff. But, yeah, I think, uh, what we've seen, especially here in Las Vegas, because we get a lot of uh, uh, doorbell pirates that steal stuff off the thing. Mm. And as soon as they see that there's a camera recording them, like a ring or anything else, they run away because they know they've either been made with their photo uh, or they're going to be made. So they 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 just they just, as soon as they see a camera, they're out. Yeah. So the, uh, the thing is that uh, NG goes a bit a step further in not only focusing at the break-ins. And what we're seeing a number of users are uh, you mentioned the home feed uh, using it for understanding what's happening at, at their homes, and especially if it is like an apartment complex, the break-in uh, you know danger is not necessarily as high, but there might be service person coming in. Uh, there might be uh, some people which you haven't invited or you, you didn't know about, and all this is being captured. Or even if it's uh, your kids, you know when they came, uh, so you can be uh, either happy that they are at home or actually you know that they came late. There's a number of scenarios uh, which we supporting. And more importantly, as I mentioned, based upon the feedback from a, uh, from a users, we actually adding new scenarios and new functionalities on the go. Uh, because NG updates itself, so you don't have to do anything. Uh, mm -hmm. If there is a new functionality or bug fixing, of course, it doesn't happen too often, uh, then uh, it automatically actually updates your NG, and uh, then uh, you continue to use it uh, even without uh, knowing that there is a new functionality. So we're very mm -hmm. excited about those you know, new functionalities based upon the customer feedback and uh, what we're seeing uh, can be new use cases. Mm -hmm. it, it's pretty interesting. You guys also have where you can just capture video if you want. So if your dog's being cute, uh, you can capture that. Your kids are being cute, you can capture that. Save it as a moment, your thing. What's also kind of different about you guys uh, is you guys uh, basically sell this thing based on subscription monthly or yearly subscription plans. You don't really buy the Angie. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah, we decided that actually... In reality, consumers are looking to have functional service. Mm -hmm. And in order to have functional service, you have to have functional cloud services there, cloud storage, and all this stuff. And reality is that the, most of the companies are trying to find a way how to charge you for that. Mm -hmm. And when we are thinking about it, we came to a conclusion, well, this is unfair. Uh, and more importantly, it's not transparent. Uh, and it's not about the hardware. It's about what it does for you. So mm -hmm. 
we are having very simple offer, uh, which is uh, right now one plan, uh, which you can either subscribe month to month or annually. You pay that, you don't pay anything for the hardware. So you have essentially lifetime warranty for hardware as long as you pay subscription. So if something goes wrong with the hardware, we'll just replace it. If there will be new versions of hardware, we will actually provide you with the new one and so on and so forth. So there is no risk on your side and you get access to all the services without you know, uh, hidden charges or something you would not know about. And I, you know, I, I really like that plan because most of the cameras that we're seeing nowadays, if you want cloud access, uh, I actually have one product that got sent to us, a garage door opener that uh, you, it works with IoT, it plugs into all your IoT stuff, but if you want to use Google Home or Alexa, um, you have to pay a fee to be able to open your door saying, you know, blah, 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 to open my door. Um, and so most of the security companies out there, if you do pay, you know, 100, 150 bucks, 200 bucks, you drop for a security cam, you're still going to have to pay for a monthly fee for a cloud service if you want cloud. And like I say, I highly recommend cloud because if anything happens, uh, you know, I just, like I said, I always giggle because I'm like, they'll just steal the camera and then they'll have your recording of stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. I've got an outdoor camera that, that, uh, it, it, doesn't even work on the cloud it works but it has a card inside of it and it's right. like if you rip the thing off the wall well then there's your video uh and for 16 bucks a month they get the main camera unit one security tag unlimited cloud storage so you guys don't have a cap on that that's nice ios and android app multi-mode protection 24 7 customer service and continuous app updates and like you say, that's pretty nice. Uh, with any cameras I have, and we have cameras that go bad with all the testing we do, um, you know, when you call them up, they're just like, well, you you bought it, you own it, you broke it, it's yours. Um, so I think it's nice that they can, you know, have the security of getting a continual update, plus they get the cloud service as well. You just don't have to think about it, and that's our aim. Uh, and uh, as a matter of fact, what we're seeing is, that a uh, number of our customers are uh, actually the ones who were not really sold on the idea of buying camera, installing it and trying to figure it out uh, or home security system as such. So they like the proposition, which is, okay, you actually subscribe. Sub as I like to say, you hit the subscribe now button and then everything else is our problem. Uh, and that's exactly how we approach it. We, of course, have a lot of room of improvement. We're looking, you know, how we can make our uh, service faster, our response is better, uh, being able to support all the use cases. Uh, but that's what we are excited about. And we're excited about that we can have a very simple offer, which is you subscribe now, and then everything is on NG. Uh, and that's, uh, that's our philosophy. And uh, I believe that's the only way, honestly, for most of the market. Uh, because what do you see in the US, there is a, 75% of households not using anything. That's our market. We actually, as a matter of fact, we don't see ourselves fighting, you know, for those households uh, where all our competition is. We want to address all households who are essentially were neglecting existing solutions because they just didn't like the proposition. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the app, uh, they can get all their stuff. They can invite users. So uh, this is really good, too, if you've got people coming to your house, like maybe dog walkers. A lot of people are mm -hmm. using dog walker services now, and so they have to come in the house to, um, to take and walk your dog. Uh, maybe you have a maid. I've used maids from time to time, um, or maid or somebody coming by to take care of the house, maybe pick up kids or drop off kids. Uh, you can literally know when everyone's coming and going and who's in your house, whether they're a stranger, or whether they are who they are. Is there any facial recognition yet on the app? So we're not using facial recognition currently. Mm -hmm. The main reason is because we don't consider it uh, actually uh, reliable enough for, mm -hmm. the, uh, for the home environment. We're playing with that, so we might be introducing that as well as we're playing with a couple of uh, speech recognition scenarios. Mm -hmm. uh, so... Uh, we might be coming with uh, some of those in order to, again, uh, improve uh, the quality of recognizing who is exactly the person uh, which is uh, at house, but at the same time with this privacy uh, protection. So, that, so it's important that you know that uh, for the reasons which you exactly uh, perfectly defined, because we see scenarios where there are actually other people who needs to have access essentially to your home, but you don't 
let's put it this way you don't trust them the same as your family members so you want to essentially make sure that you have some level of understanding what they what they're doing but that's why you know we try to make sure that we uh properly address uh privacy issues it, it works reliably and so on and so forth and i think one of the big unique things other than the fact that it has motion traction it moves around to see who's moving uh the unique privacy mode i mean privacy is just becoming such a buzzword when it comes to uh, everything that's going on. I mean, you're hearing about so many different things, listening to you, watching you, people who can access your cameras. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy what's going on in the world. And I like the unique privacy mode. I, I, I suppose if I was sitting around and suddenly it turned and started watching me, I'd kind of like be like, okay, so what's going on with the camera? And <laughs> I'm still watching me. <laughs> like, exactly. Cool. I personally believe that the privacy in kind of in general uh, is becoming, let me put it this way, people are starting to be aware that there is a lot of data and a lot of information, uh, various services and various providers uh, are gathering. And there is, by the way, there's nothing bad about that. The, the problem is people are not necessarily aware of it and they even less aware of what's, what's happening with that. And sometimes happening without their consent or the consent is like 50 pages, so you don't know actually. So. Uh, I believe that uh, there is definitely a space for you know improving the services, utilizing your data, but it's it's something where uh, it's cooperation with uh, with the user, making sure the user knows what's going on, uh, protecting the user data. And to be honest, uh, uh, me as a representative of NG, I, I I want to protect our company as well. We don't want to have a data which actually we don't really need because that's the best protection from anyone else, you know, uh, potentially taking advantage of the data. That's, that's in, in a way, how to make sure uh, that not only we misuse the data, but no one else can. And uh, that's what, what we believe is extremely critical uh, for the future of uh, any smart uh, services and smart appliances for the homes. Uh, really having the privacy uh, in, in the mind as, as, as actually almost number first. And then you know the service and uh, uh, other propositions. So privacy keeps you in control. Uh, when privacy mode is active on the unit, Angie will voice announce outside requests for live view. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you're the wife and you got the pool boy over and the mailman, you don't want your husband dialing in to see what's going on. Then uh, you know Angie will let you know if anyone wants to come in and watch. Is that how it works, basically? You know, that, that's quite interesting because we had a lot of debate in the past uh, how to deal with uh, kind of uh, relationship issues uh, at the household, but it's not it, it, it's uh, not our job. Our job is to make sure that the people who are at the household can actually express their will. Uh, mm -hmm. And we believe th this is the right way. So that means it's up to you to either allow someone uh, to connect uh, with the device or not. Of course, we have uh, also the ability to, so for example, if you have kids, the so-called member uh, mode, where for certain uh, family members, you might not have this you know, privacy level for the reason to take care of them. So there are scenarios where you want to uh, be able to actually uh, uh, have the access to the monitoring as a parent, for example. But yes, the, the privacy is not only issue in between companies and users, but also in between users themselves. Yeah, I, I mean, I there's sometimes I walk around my underwear when I make a breakfast, and if I had kids or something, I wouldn't want them dialing in and seeing dad walking around his underwear making breakfast and stuff. I'm, I'm just not a morning person, but I don't have kids, so I don't have that problem. But you know, I there's I can see different formats of where uh, you might want to. Well, you want privacy and personal privacy is personal privacy. You might have some teenagers that are, you know, I don't know, you know, actually, me, teenagers are. Um, so there's that. Uh, so this thing's pretty cool, and and it's pretty simple and easy to set up. Uh, you just hold the QR code off the mobile phone. We've we've used we've reviewed products like that before. It takes sequences it, and uh, you should be good to go. Uh, one thing that was interesting, uh, great for keeping an eye on elders. Um, great unique privacy mode. There's limited users you have on it. So I guess if you have a flat family of polygamists and a bunch of people coming over. You can, uh, you know, have unlimited users basically. <laughs> Correct. There's no live access view and constant feature updates. You can essentially add and uh, remove the users as you, as you need. So if, if you have, you know, a bunch of friends who uh, regularly come in to visit you, you can add them in. 
Uh, there is no cost. There is essentially even no hassle. Uh, so that's that's important. As, as I uh, said, we want that plan to be simple. So it means everything is included. You don't have to think, do I need this? Do I need that? How is this price? How is that price? I personally believe that, you know, especially, of, of course, if you have a large house, then you might need to design, you know, your security system around the house. But our focus are single family houses, apartments, condos, where we believe NG is what you need. Uh, you don't have to think about, do I need two motion sensors, three motion sensors, two cameras, five cameras, you don't have to. But there's a one NG and that's all, and uh, we'll take, we will take care of you. And that's, this simplicity is extremely important. And we're finding it for a number of users uh, uh, as, as essentially the key element. If it's not simple, they just won't go for it because they don't need a hassle. Yeah, you've got smart home integration as well. Uh, it'll work with Alexa and Philips Hue integration. So you can arm the Angie uh, with the voice command from Alexa or uh, with Philips Hue, you can deter intruders with a flashing red lights. And uh, I'm looks not like quite you guys, sure how to help with that. <laughs> there we go. Uh, and you guys are working on uh, Sonos and Google Assistant integrations as well. Correct. So essentially, uh, the way how we're looking at the integrations is, let me let me start somewhere else. I personally don't believe in the proposition of a smart home as a reason why you will be buying something. As I like to say, uh, consumers, uh, based upon our understanding, don't want to buy smart home products, but something smart for their homes. And there is a, there is a quite a difference, which means if you label it smart home, that doesn't necessarily mean it is working for you. So we uh, are trying to make sure that NG blends into your life. So if you're using Alexa, perfect, you can use it. Uh, it integrates with NG easily. If you're using Google Assistant, the same. If you don't have it, no problem. Uh, if you have Philips Hue, perfect, you can use it, and so on and so forth. We'll be adding uh, additional integrations. Essentially, we, integrations is uh, one of the uh, important areas of uh, the development efforts uh, in our case uh, for the same reasons, uh, that if you're using certain services or certain devices, we want you to continue to use them and uh, making partially, almost, you would say, NG invisible. This is pretty interesting too. Not only do you guys have a built-in battery, but you guys have advanced sound recognition. So it can recognize sounds like shattering glass, fire alarms going off, which is really cool. That will notify you. You guys even have a pet feature that uh, doesn't trigger false alarms if, you're, uh, if your pet goes by. And then this is even more interesting, a voice password. So if your phone is dead or you don't have it with it, you, you can arm or disarm Angie using your voice. That's pretty cool. Yep, so right now uh, what we're using is four-digit code because especially, uh, you know, people in the U.S. are used to using it for the banks, bank services mm -hmm. in the past. We're looking to potentially replace it by actual recognition of your voice. So we mm -hmm. did a couple of testing there. Also because right now for this uh, four-digit code, we're using actually cloud uh, so uh, for processing. And we are working on bringing all of it to embedded so that we don't need cloud, we can decrease latency, increase uh, reliability, and so on and so forth. Uh, so it, it's meant for when your phone doesn't work or when some of uh, the uh, members of the household, like kids, do not have a phone. Uh, and we're looking how we can enhance uh, these functionalities going forward uh, in order to be, again, able to co cover more use cases, uh, which might happen which are either direct hazard or might be just, you know, something uh, potentially uh, annoying and you might want to know about it. Well, that's definitely smart because I've had times where my phone goes dead. I'm out doing an event or a show here in Las Vegas and uh, I come back and my phone's dead and uh, I'm sure I'd activate the alarm when I'd walk in. Yeah. Uh, so that's really brilliant to have. There are some times where uh, I've I've walked out to the car, put my phone in the car, and then I come back in for something, and I realize that I need to arm the whole system. So uh, there there's times where that goes on as well. Uh, that's probably uh, important not to uh, take and uh, you know trigger your alarm and have some control over anything more we need to know about uh, Angie. So I I think what it, what is important is uh, we really looking at having our users to uh, drive our roadmap partially. What it, what it means is we 
we're looking into understanding what is important for them, uh, how we can essentially make their life easier and safer uh, and for their families. Uh, and that's uh, what we see as a mission of NG. And we build the initial architecture. We are at the beginning of, uh, of our journey as a company. Uh, and we're very happy about uh, having the customers we, which we do have. We're happy about adding new customers. But we are extremely excited about the opportunities which we have as a company to bring new functionalities and uh, including uh, taking care of the situations which we might not be even thinking about. So we're looking forward uh, to uh, work with our uh, customers, but also with uh, uh, the other stakeholders in order to get that feedback and be able to deploy new functionalities and enhance uh, what NG does right now and make it smarter. Yeah, this is awesome. So people go check it out. Go to meetangie.com. That's A-N-G-E-E, -E, meetangie.com. Uh, you can take an order of one of these for about the price of what you would pay after you buy a security cam at full price. And then you'd have to pay a monthly cloud to that security cam company. You can just basically pay a monthly fee to have all of it. And you don't have to expend the uh, really high cost of buying a unit and then paying the monthly fee. Uh, you can get everything all included just by paying a monthly fee. I also like the feature where if maybe it breaks down or uh, it needs improvements, uh, of course, you guys are constantly improving it. I really love that feature because we've had stuff that has been sent to us. I don't usually buy my own security cameras. But uh, with the security cameras, we'll get like a really good one. I'll be like, I really like this security camera. And I'll be missing something like smart home integration or like it doesn't have you know, uh, Google, but it's got Alexa or, if it, you know, the vice versa. And then, and then like six months later or three months later, that company will come out with another version of the product that has full integration, but you can't get that because you have the old product and you're just like, oh man, this sucks. So I think it's really great that, that people have that upgradable feature with you guys. They're going to pay a relatively low monthly fee. Uh, but they, and they, and they also don't have the high cost of, of outputting I remember when I first was looking at getting security cameras for my house, I'm like, this costs a lot of money just to, to get a bunch of these to cover the whole house and you know all the areas of a two-story home. And um, so I like the low entry cost that makes it so people can get their cameras, get them going, and they just have to pay the monthly fee they'd otherwise pay uh, for an online cloud service. Thanks for that. And I would like to highlight one more thing. You can cancel anytime. So if you don't like it, if it doesn't do for you what uh, you need, or if you found something better, you can cancel anytime. There is no string attached. Uh, and that's very unique uh, as well. And we believe that the NG service is great and will be becoming better and better. And that's why we uh, actually can afford to have such an excellent offer. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, guys. So check it out. Go to meetangie.com. Tell them Chris was sending you. Check out their uh, different cameras. Uh, their, well, the camera that they have on there and some of the different features it has. I think it's pretty interesting. Uh, watch some of the videos. Watching the tracking on the cameras on their videos is really interesting how it tracks and knows what's going on and pays attention. The the uh, the, the motion stick uh sensors or where, where the sensors that go on the uh, windows and doors so they know when they're being opened and stuff uh that you guys have yes yes correct yeah those are great too so watch the videos check them out be sure to give them a like subscribe to us on youtube so you know all the things that we have going on thanks for tuning in everyone and we'll see you next time